As the fight against global warming heats up, some critics of government mandates say innovation, rather than regulation, is the right way to build a green economy. Evan Brown has more. Net zero it can be attainable, but it needs to be balanced with the trade-offs that we're willing to make. At the UN climate conference last month, more than 190 countries approved a historic agreement that will move the world away from the use of fossil fuels. But critics say it is a move in the wrong direction, and government mandates to lower emissions are a short-term fix at best. C3 Solutions is a pro-climate conservative coalition. Their new report makes the case that free economies equal clean economies. If you have a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship, that leads to investment in all types of environmentally friendly technologies that consumers actually want. And green technology is a big part of that. Their report highlights the link between economic freedom and higher standards of sanitation, pollution control, and clean air. And investment in technology is essential for developing sustainable energy solutions. That could be wind, solar, but it could also be uh, small modular reactors. I think natural gas is a, a critical part of the solution. There's a lot of opportunity there. In other words, C3 claims we can reduce carbon emissions without reducing fossil fuels if the focus remains on innovation and not regulation. I'm encouraged by the, the amount of innovation that we've seen in the energy space, the clean energy space, in uh, different types of environmental solutions. The worldwide renewable energy market was worth about a trillion dollars last year. They expect that to double by 2030. In Miami, Evan Brown, Fox News.